the animation doesn't show up in my inventory. Oh my god, and they're all freaking out. Like, why? It's not that hard. Just press 5 on your keyboard. So, real quickly, I am going to set it to... I think game capture? Uh, I'm on window capture right now. And I don't know if that will work, because... Uh, I already recorded this video, actually. And so, here's what happened. I was recording the video and I was doing the intro. And because I had it on window capture, when I did the export, it didn't pop up uh, in OBS. So let me just take it off window capture and do display capture. Okay, so inside Roblox Studio, uh, we can begin animating. And so I'm just gonna clear up some things for you guys that are confusing you. So first things first, get your character. I have mine, as you guys know, I like to do blank R6 rigs. And I have him named as R63 because I already have R6, guys. This is, his name is R6. And uh, this was the same display I did my fight animation on, so that's why. So uh, I have to name each one differently. So that's R62, R6. And then because I already have him, I'm just gonna name this R63 so I can put him in the animation. So we're gonna go to Moon Animator File. New animation, and I'm just gonna name this export because I'm. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's from my last the last time I tried to do this. Here, we'll do export tutorial. Very very nice. So we're just gonna click the plus and add our character in. Very very simple stuff. And so for this, we're just gonna do a wave animation. So I'm gonna move the slider to about 15. And now I'm just going to begin my wave animation and, uh, you know, something like that. Uh, yeah, I guess that works. We'll move this slider to 30. And then all we need to do is that. I guess that works. I don't know, guys. And then around 45, you can just take this. And actually, like at 35. Okay, boom. So, this probably looks pretty choppy. It's not the worst, so we're just gonna go set this to quad and out. And it's not the worst, it could be better. Okay, so now we can, we're gonna go to settings and loop it, and you can access the settings by either clicking this little gear icon or by pressing eight on your keyboard. And so I press eight and it brings up loop, and I'm just gonna check loop. So if you want your animation to be looped, which you probably do, uh, then you can do that. So now we have our looped animation. And for a second here, I'm just gonna, Okay, boom, now I'm just gonna delete this. And let's see. Uh, I guess it kinda works. So, now once you're done animating, go to file, and as you can see, export all is gone. So to fix that, just click five on your keyboard. And so as you can see, it creates an export here. So we don't even have to press export all in the first place. We just press five and it's there. So now you're going to see two folders, Moon Animator Saves and Moon Animator Export. Right click on Moon Animator Export and click Save to Roblox. So Export Tutorial R63. Uh, I like that you can make the name whatever you want. So once you're done, just click Submit and it's going to give you a link to the uh, to the page of it. So if it doesn't pop up in your inventory, you can click that link and then bookmark the page if you want. But all you need to do is go right here where it says ID and copy it. So click that button and it will say ID copied. So the reason you need to do that is so that you can paste an ID for the animation and play the animation in your game. So once you have the ID copied, close out, close out of Moon Animator without saving. Yes, you can save it if you want, but you don't need to. So I will link the uh, Play Animation 2.0, the same one that I used in my last tutorial uh, by Roblox YouTuber Chaseu. So now we're just gonna click that and it brings, it brings the script into the game called Play Animation. So just drag it into the character you want the animation to be played on. Next, go to Ideal Animation, delete whatever is there, and paste in that ID that you just copied. So now, 
the reason I have it looped is so you can see it better. But so now that that's there, if we go to run, and we just run the place real quickly. And as you can see, the waving animation uh, takes in the play. So all you have to do, create the animation, copy the ID, get animation 2.0, and uh, or play animation 2.0 and drag it into whatever character. If I wanted, I could actually even drag it into one of these characters. As long as I have that animation ID copied, it will play on whatever character. So as you can see, the wave animation is playing in the game and that is how you export your animations. So if you did enjoy this video and found it useful, make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Swifty and I will see you in the next video. Everybody, my name is Swifty and welcome back to another amazing video today <laughs> Today we are wait a minute. I already taught you guys how to do this. I'm Sorry, I just I don't understand the confusion everybody's freaking out because like oh my god the export button is gone uh, The animation doesn't show up in my inventory. Oh my god, and they're all freaking out like why? It's not that hard, just press five on your keyboard. So real quickly, I am going to set it to, I think game capture. Uh, I'm on window capture right now, and I don't know if that will work because uh, I already recorded this video actually. And so here's what happened. I was recording the video and I was doing the intro. And because I had it on window capture, when I did the export, it didn't pop up uh, in OBS. So let me just take it off window capture and do display capture. Okay, so inside Roblox Studio, uh, we can begin 